Welcome back to Championship Court here at the Zimmer Biomet APP New York City Open as we get set for our first men's double semifinal. It will be the duo of Will Howells and CJ Klinger going up against Mario Barrientos and Jack Monroe. That is at the bottom of your screen, the second semifinal coming up after this one. And Dom, you and Chad alluded to it earlier in the broadcast. This has been a day of upsets on the men's double side. I mean, just let a firecracker underneath the guy's <laughs> bracket and just blow it up right now. Watch it burn, baby. That's exactly what happened. If it was March Madness, you'd be out. You wouldn't even be paying attention to the second weekend. So, yes, we have a lot of names that you may not have seen, but definitely worthy players. And that's the one we got right in front of us now. You may know one of them at least. Will Howell, CJ Klinger. They have been playing really well as of late, and they are sitting here in our first semifinal. Howells and Klinger both made the final of our mixed doubles gold medal match. That was last night. And Will Howells and CJ Klinger, they have played together before, already have a gold medal to their name. That came all the way back in the first tournament of the season in Punta Gorda. They captured gold in men's doubles. Partners once again here in New York City. Dom, what should we expect to see from the duo of Howells and Klinger? Well, CJ Klinger, he may be that steady kind of player on that right side, but don't go to sleep on his power and his movement. He's going to try and jump in with that big lefty forehand in the middle and try and wreak havoc. Will Howes always looking to wreak havoc if he's going to play with some pace, and if he puts the ball away or anywhere, he's going to tell you about it. So Will Howell's not a stranger to talking to his opponents and letting them know how that last shot was. CJ Klinger kind of the opposite. He's really quiet, kind of stays to himself, so and actually a good partnership. A funny moment yesterday when Howells put one away, waved the finger at CJ Klinger, who was completely unfazed as we take a look there at Mario Barrientos, the 29-year-old out of Provo, Utah. He is playing alongside Jack Monroe, a new partnership. We'll get into that as this match evolves as we are underway. Klinger and Howells at the top of your screen, Barrientos and Monroe at the bottom. Right into the left hip off of the paddle of Barrientos. And that's exactly what you're going to see for Mario Barrientos. He is going to reach in and use that backhand flick. That is one of his strengths. Barrientos has great touch. Will play soft, but will set that soft game, or the soft game will set up his aggressive play. Winner off the battle of C.J. Klinger as he and Howells look to do damage here in this men's doubles semifinal. A.J. McCord joins us now with more on the duo of Klinger and Howells. Dorian, you guys were talking about the dynamic between Will and C.J. This is only their second APP tournament together, but Will told me that he feels like he's always been comfortable on the court with C.J. Their styles of play just match up really well with each other. And C.J. told me he loves playing with Will because he fires him up in between points. And so watch that partnership, despite how new it is, to work well from a chemistry standpoint. Thanks, A.J. I love that. And, of course, if you want a partner that's going to fire you up, there may be nobody better on tour to do that than Will Howes. He is one of the loudest, most energetic players on the APP this season. Barrientos whiffed on the ball, and Jack Monroe was like, hey, don't worry about it, partner. I got you in the middle here. I got an opportunity to talk to these two earlier today, and that is something specifically that Barrientos mentioned about playing with Monroe. He said, you know what, if I make a mistake or if something goes wrong in the middle of the point, Monroe is always so positive, and that's what I love about playing alongside him. Monroe getting a little too big. Second serve on the way. Yeah, he's there. Good read in the middle with that lefty forehand. And this is interesting right here with these two teams playing against each other. Lefty righty matchups middle is not really available. Side out. Just pushes it past the baseline. Side out. 
Second serve. Second serve as Howells and Klinger still not able to get on the board quite yet here early on in game number one. In this matchup, too, we talk about Monroe and Barrientos. They just partnered up two days ago. It was very interesting as both of their partners not able to play. Just past the baseline, another side out. Is if this is shaping up to be the entire match, Dom, you and I are going to be here for quite a while. Well, that ladies' match you just had was a long one too, and only went two games. And we have had a couple of really long matches here so far. As that one into the net here at the Zimmer Biomet APP New York City Open, that mixed doubles gold medal match, an hour and forty minutes last night. Unreal. Some good matches though. Oh, yeah, that ball not coming back right there. Mario sitting in the middle with that big forehand, putting it down. 2-0-2. Two, zero, two. Two, zero, two. Oh, body <laughs> bag. That is center mass to a T. CJ Klinger going for the Ernie right there. Barrientos reads it perfectly and just Three, goes zero, right two. at his body. He was not trying to keep that ball in the court. Comes up a little bit short on the backhand dink side out. Three nothing lead for the duo of Jack Monroe and Mario Barrientos. Second time Barrientos has been able to catch Klinger in the body. Ball jumping off the paddle of Barrientos. Klinger not able to get out of the way yet again. Couple of big drives that time. Klinger able to get a little skinny. Will Howells right there kind of saying, hey, anything you can do, I can do better. I'm going to come in hot and heavy here with my forehand and backhand. Nice. Oh, beautiful placement. Can't believe Clear almost actually got to that ball. That's a great misdirect on a counter there from Jack Monroe. 3-1-1. That's so good. dirty down the middle there from Jack Monroe. Watch him hold this on the two-handed backhand here. Just long enough to create a hole and get the finish down the middle. Barrios going big. Just long, second serve on the way. Still a three-point advantage for Monroe and Barrientos. away the two-hand backhand does will howls to earn the side out yeah big job or big two-handed backhand like you just said dorian from will howls he finds the left foot of barrientos good patience from howls and Klinger throughout that point a couple one, balls one, i one. thought they might attack they do not wait for the right opportunity A little unkind neck cord to Barrientos as it pops up for Howells to put away. Two, four, one. 
Cuts it a little bit fine. Three, four now, as it is back to just a one-point game. Again, great patience here from Klinger and Howells as they start chipping away at this lead. I'll recall the score. That's a good aggressive serve right there from Will Howells. You can talk about players, they flirt with that line of legal or illegal serves. Will Howells, one of them. But again, you got to do what you got to do. Until it gets called, you keep doing it. Uncharacteristic error, though, on an easy backhand dink there from Howells. 4-4-2. Four, four, point. Another point as Klinger and Howells seem to have found their groove. They have ripped off four straight Five, points four, to take their first lead of the game. Starting to chirp a little bit right there, saying wrong guy. Yeah, starting to feel it a little bit is Will Howells. Last thing you want to do, though, is wake up Jack Monroe. <laughs> I don't think that Jack Monroe is the guy that you want to trash talk to. Side out. Klinger misses the third, so service side back over to Monroe and Barrientos. Four, six, one. talk about wrong guy that's the guy right there that is sick right here from jack monroe and again he plays left-handed but he is ambidextrous he serves right-handed if you watch him but then plays left-handed that's an easy right-handed forehand for him around the post second serve. miss third second serve coming and listen we know Howells likes to play to the crowd jack monroe has a little bit of that in him as well monroe's got some flavor in there all you need to know from that is, is that one goes into the net. Watch his Instagram. <laughs> Six all. Six, six, two. Monroe and Barrientos retake the lead. Seven, six, two. Oh, a little confusion in the middle right there. And all of a sudden, ever since the chirp at Jack Monroe, Dorian, by Will Howells, he calmly gives him and Mario Barrientos a two-point lead here in game one. A timeout on the court. Humana would like to recognize Rose Chin for the Humana Human Care Spotlight. For the last three years, Rose has worked tirelessly as a volunteer coordinator for the APP New York City Open. But not volunteering with the APP, she volunteers with the USTA, US Open, and the Arthur Ashe Kids Day. In recent years, she's dedicated time to the USTA AANHPI, the Asian American Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander Association Tennis Festival. Humana and the APP cannot thank you enough, Rose, for your dedication to helping and growing the game of pickleball. A big thank you to Rose Chin and all of our volunteers who make these tournaments possible. Without you all, we could not do what we do. Yeah, exactly. You took the words right out of my mouth, Dorian. Without all the volunteers, none of this is possible. And we thank every single one of our volunteers across the country for everything they do each and every weekend. They're here when you and I get here. They're here when we leave. They are the ones that are putting in tremendous work as out of the timeout, Howells and Kling are able to get the side out.
Six, eight, one. Yeah, it's just not what Klinger and Howells need to be doing right now. Third shot drives, not working. Both Six, Jack eight, Monroe eight. and Mario Barrientos, great hands. And just Five. right there, you had a third shot drive to a fifth shot drop in the net from Klinger. Then you have a third shot miss. They needed to capitalize on that after coming out of the timeout, holding, eight, six, and then one. getting the serve back on their side. Just long. long. But like you said, Dorian, again, when you talked to Barrientos and Monroe before, Barrientos knowing Monroe's got his back, Barrientos swings and misses again. And who's there to back him up? switch hands in the middle of that ATP defense. That was ridiculous. That's what he does. That's what the man does. Jackson. He is so smooth. You watch him jump back, gets right back in, puts that paddle back in his left hand, and just like that, game point. 10-6-1. 10-6-1. Missed dink into the net as Jack Monroe and Mario Barrientos come out on fire. They take game one over Will Howes and CJ Klinger, 11 to six. We will have game two action coming up next on the other side of the break here at the 2024 Zimmer Biomed APP New York City Open. Well, for exercise, competition, or to hang out with friends. What your reason is doesn't matter to Gamma. What matters is that you play, that you enjoy playing with passion, and you have so much fun, you can't wait to play again. At Gamma, we offer paddles perfect for all levels, including yours, because pickleball is about you, the player, and what feels right. Pickleball is your game. Make Gamma your paddle. Play to live. Live to play. Gamma Pickleball. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. Tonight, Grant Gill will become a legend when he totally kills it at his improv class's graduation performance. Knees will be slapped. Suds will be sprayed. People won't know what hurts more, their cheeks or their sides. That's why he's already keeping himself in shape and razor sharp today with health tips and wellness tools from AARP to help make sure his health lives as long as he does. Because the younger you are, the more you need AARP. I'm Chad Edwards, head coach of the Next Gen National Team. Today we had the opportunity to have a photo shoot and hand out hats with numbers to our Next Gen National Team. Every player for the past two years that's been a part of the National Team has been awarded a cap today with a number, and that number has been retired. We were surprised with these hats. 
I was number six. I got number nine. Pretty excited for that. Those numbers will stay with those players. They will retire when they graduate from the national team. They'll go up on the wall in the fort. At the APP headquarters down in Fort Lauderdale, we will have all the players with their photos and their cap number. As more players start coming through this next-gen national team program, they'll be able to see those numbers retired on the wall up at the fort, and it'll be there in history for the rest. Well, you saw Jack Monroe in the middle of that ceremony getting his cap. And Jack Monroe in the middle of this rally switches hands on the ATP defense. Ends up being a winner for him and Barrientos as they looked in control of game number one from start to finish. They took it 11 to 6. Yeah, it was a great job by Barrientos and Monroe. Just calm and cool. Didn't let the talking get to them. They just let the play game do the work two, for them. Great two, job, two. and they got one game under their belt. One game away for playing for the gold medal here in New York City. Five hole winner. Barrientos going right between the legs of Will Howes. Yeah, nice job by Barrientos. Again, we talk about that big forehand in the middle, Dorian. Do not go to sleep on big Barrientos there. He does like to drop a lot, doesn't drive too much, but he does have a ton of power. Zero one one. Zero one one. Dumb. There was a period there in game number one where it looked like Howells and Klinger had put it together. They were on a bit of a run. They only scored one more point after that. What has been the biggest difference as this point progresses? What's been the biggest difference that you've seen that went into the tape as the match has gone on? Well, they're waiting for the right opportunities. They're not getting premature. They're waiting for those right opportunities to attack. And they've played patient. Then also you've had Klinger and Howells make some uncharacteristic errors. Yes, but not right there. Nice job by Will Howells going right at the body of Jack Monroe. Better combination, and it gives Howells and Klinger the lead. No, Will. Two, one, two. Are coming up just a little bit short as that power of Barrientos pushing him back just a tad in the court. Yeah, good aggressive push there from Barrientos, using his length really well to reach out in front and take that ball out of the air. Oh, Howells just a little too much on the counter. I like the counter though. Continue to put pressure on Barrientos and Monroe and keep them back. Two, two, one. Two, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Barrientos may not be doing some talking, but he's certainly staring down, doing some body language speaking there. Oh, he was hovering. <laughs> he was peacocking up at the kitchen line right there as soon as he went behind Three, two, Will Howells. He was letting him know he's here. Oh, again. Oh, starting to pick up a little bit here on championship court. Here we go. As the 29-year-old, the Chilean native, getting into it here. Four, two, one. Barrientos all over the kitchen line. Now he's giving it to Klinger. Oh, he's not having any of it. But the key here is when he does pull this trigger or when Klinger and Howells are pulling the trigger, his paddle's out front. He's ready. He's not taking a big swing. And he's just punching right back at them and just giving and wreaking havoc. 
Oh, right now, Barrientos and Monroe have themselves a game and a three-point lead here in the first of two men's semifinals. Dom, what do Will Howells and CJ Klinger need to do here if they want to be able to get back into this match? Because right now, it feels like danger time. Well, right now, you have Barrientos feeling it, right? First and foremost, get the ball away from him right now. Ice him out, cool him off a little bit before you decide to go back to him one, two, maybe three times. Let's get Jack Monroe involved. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe Jack makes a couple mistakes. Maybe he doesn't. But you have to change things up. Barrientos has been on top of the last three points. He's been the deciding factor. Got to get the ball away from him right here out of this timeout. That split screen that we saw just a second ago, you can tell the difference in body language. Monroe Barrientos looking very relaxed over there, standing. Monroe not even sitting down. And Barrientos just feeling it. We said this is a new partnership. This guy looks like he is a mainstay on championship court. He is taken over. Out of the timeout, Klinger pushes the backhand flick wide. I mean, that's a man with confidence right now. He acts like he's been here before. Body back this time on Howells. Oh, we're getting a little close to the net. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. I want the ball. Oh, oh boy. It is stare down after stare down at the Messi kitchen line won. right now. Barrientos not backing down. And this match very quickly getting out of hand for CJ oh, yeah. Klinger as he responds with a monstrous Ernie. But still second you, serve. Before you start giving it back, you better get a couple points back here first. Down by five. Oh, Barion, Barion's is all over that in the middle. And prior to that, Ernie, I was saying, um, this match feels like it is very quickly getting out of hand because Monroe and Barrientos is now just three points away from moving into the gold medal match. Well, it is. You're trying to speed up at Barrientos again for no reason right at his backhand. Called out. Ball looks like there was at least an inch or two between the line and the ball to our naked eye. So the call on the court was out. CJ Klinger has asked a challenge. And they challenged it pretty quickly. They thought that, that ball was in for sure. We'll get a look here. Well, regardless, it's a good challenge in this spot oh, because. Yeah. Should this call stand, it's 9-2. So if you're Klinger and House, you don't have anything to lose here. You're down at least six and facing potential elimination coming up very quickly. As this, if this call is overturned, it also gives them their serve back. So that stops the run for Barrientos and Monroe. Yeah, 100% right here. I like it. Again, free timeout when you do get a challenge here. So nothing hurt by challenging. But again... If this is not overturned, this is just troubled waters here for Howells and Klinger as Barrientos is just wreaking havoc. I mean, quite frankly, they look a little shell-shocked. They have no answer right now. None. What is the answer going up against Barrientos and Monroe the way that they're playing? Again, it's back when they call the timeout, right? I hate saying it, but Jack Monroe's got to see a steady diet here as we get this live look. is as close as it comes we will let our referees make that call but again right now i got to get the ball to jack monroe and see what he can do because right now mario's playing well feeling it getting on top of that backhand flick they are really taking a look at this one want to be sure they get this right So the call stands on the court. It is 9-2-2. Monroe and Barrientos with a seven-point advantage, and they so stay they on serve just two points away from sweeping into the men's doubles gold medal match. Time in. 9-2-2. Andy Jones, our lead referee here on championship court with that call. Helms misses the return, and just like that, it is match point. 10-2-2.
points. I mean, that's just unbelievable right there. And even on the last point, Dorian, they want to try and challenge Barrientos right there. He was having absolutely none of it that whole second game. Great job by Barrientos and Monroe. Moving on. Well, we will talk to our winners when we return here on Championship Court. Don't go anywhere. Plenty more ahead here at the Zimmer Biomet ABB New York City Open. The Pro and Star Pickleball Paddle answers the age-old question of how to get paddle speed and control with the same paddle and one grip, and this is it. Pro XR gives you more spin, greater control, and quicker reloads on every shot in the game because you always have that constant feel for that leverage and control and paddle speed that we're all looking for. Pro XR is the most revolutionary technology in pickleball. clear fulfill is a protein bar not a candy bar don't let its creamy chocolatey goodness confuse you or the fact that you hide them from anyone with a sweet tooth you saw nothing i saw nothing fulfill we swear it's a protein bar Jack Monroe and Mario Barrientos moving on and again trying to test Barrientos and he is having none of it. We're going to toss to our fourth member of our crew, AJ McCord, who is courtside for our Franklin post-match interview. What an impressive victory for these two here in the men's doubles semifinal. Mario, you guys played for the first time together this morning. How did the duo click so quickly? Well, it's, it's really easy to click with a partner that's so, uh, so good as Jack and supportive too, positive. So that makes it really easy to play with him. Jack, how did this relationship develop throughout the day as you got more comfortable together? Trust was the biggest thing. I mean, I've seen him play on tour for a couple years now, so I knew how he played. But as soon as we got on the court, I, we knew each other's games and it just trust developed over time. It's perfect. So what do you take away from this one to get ready for your very first gold medal match together? I feel like we just need to play our game. We, we said at the beginning, let's, let's get up to the kitchen line and play from there. I think that's our strongest suit. And, uh, and uh, Jack's amazing at the net, and I'm trying to do my, my part. So that works perfectly. Jack, what are you going to take away? Oh, oh, my gosh. This is just my first time doing an interview. So this is awesome. Thanks, guys. First time. You did great. Congratulations, Mario and Jack. We'll see you guys later tonight in our men's pro doubles gold medal match right back here at the Zimmer Biomed APP New York City Open. We're going to pick up the action again 7 o'clock Eastern on Fox Sports 1.